So right now I'm in the process of cutting out the pieces that I need to create this um, look for my daughter. Um, I have a couple more to go and I'll be back with you all once I have everything cut out in place on the fabric ready to cut the fabric out. So now I'm done cutting out all of the pieces that I need and the pieces are numbered and there are nine pieces that I need and each piece has pretty much what you need to do. Like piece one says cut two on fold. Uh, this says cut one on fold. This says cut one on fold. So each one of them has... Um, what you need to do. So now I'm finna transfer this, all of this on my fabric and then I'ma cut that out and I'ma be back and show you once I do all that. So now I have all the pieces cut out. Excuse, my daughter is home now from school. No, what about the truck? So I have all of the pieces um, cut out. Now I'm finna just put it together, I guess. Y'all pray for me. Because I've lost the instructions and I don't know what I'm doing. So, I wonder if. No, it's not on here. It had a little instruction packet inside, and I think my daughter got a hold of it. I had it on the living room couch for a couple days, and I think she got a hold to it. So, pray for me. And I'll be back when I found. I found my instructions with my daughter did. So now I'm going to get to reading my instructions and then I'm gonna come back to you all when I get ready to sew everything together. And we're gonna see what we come up with. Just on this one piece, it says cut one on fold. I um made this my fold this part and the fold was supposed to be right here so i had to cut this open and um make a seam right here so it could be right so step two calls for me to stay stitch the neck hole oop excuse me i look a mess so i'm going to do that to um the front and the back yoke with me because y'all know I never did this before so let me go back to my instructions I'm nervous it's a mug and we got to wear to go today a party and I want Aja to wear this outfit okay so with the back yoke um this is the neck hole yoke and I'm going to stay stitch from this side to this and I'm going to come and do this side to this I'm not going to go in this curve so I'm going to do that and I'll be back this is the front and they wanted me to stay stitch from this side all the way to this side I've, I already did it I'm going to do the back yoke and I'll be back my biggest pet peeves when sewing is having to thread my body. I hate that. And I hate that my sewing machine doesn't know how to use time to thread it. You can see a little light on that. You don't have to use the thread on here. Yeah. I have to ball my ball. I keep trying to say ball and weave. I have to thread my ball before I finish. So I can start back. Because without any thread on your ball, you cannot have a ball layer of thread. So I have to ball my ball. It won't hold yourself together. So yeah. I'm going. The process of trying to get this outfit together. I'm gonna try to record as much as I can, but I'm reading, going back and forth for reading and going to my fabric and making sure I'm doing everything right. So I'm on step um, five. I um, I've pressed the back. I pressed it up, going towards the uh, bending out. So now I'm going to take the press part of the bending back part and I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to pin 
I'm going to paint it like that. You all can see. It's very hard for me to record because I'm new to this and I'm trying to understand and grab of what I have to do. So I'm going to try my best to show y'all or I might just insert pictures of each step. So y'all, be patient with me because I'm new to this. And it's kind of hard. I have my favorite guy upside down. But hey, this is just a project, a learning project. So I'll be back later my phone went dead during the process and i'm kind of glad because i really need to focus and read the inscriptions i mean i'm probably reading one inscriptions three or four times because like i said before this is my first time aja i'm making a video whoop this is my first time she's so glad um previously this is my first time using a store-bought pattern so this is very 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 new to me so i'm having really to sit down read step by step understand and go try to do it so i'm on no i'm actually on step 11 um i've done all the steps this was step one through ten just this little part not just this little part but i had to do the bottom part you know step one but um all of this i think i did this little part wrong but i did it the way that i know how and that was easier for me but i'm gonna recreate this look again and i'm sure i'm gonna do better next time but um yeah this is how the top part of the dress looks so far if you can really i don't think you can really see it so much but um hold on y'all I want a camera for Christmas, so this is going to be better after Christmas. So, this is the front of the dress shirt. Hold on, Aja. Hold on. And this is the back. This is a little tie-up part in the back. I will be cutting those uh, extra little threads out. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to do step 11. So, um, the gather pieces that I did in step 1 to um, the top pieces. And I'll be right back to show y'all the next step. I'm sorry that I um haven't been bringing y'all along but my next uh so along with the pattern would be so much better uh-uh Aja because like I said I'm still learning and it's a lot that I have to do precise so it could come out right so just bear with me and we're gonna do this together I add the trims to the sleeves I gather the sleeves I gather the sleeves and attached it to the top layer of the um dress um, this is what I have so far. It's the front. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I'm glad I finally stepped out of my box and purchased me a pattern. Uh, my fabric is upside down. I tend to cut my fabric upside down all the time. I'm still working on it, but um, the back has a little tie part and a little opening tie part. Excuse the little fringes. I'm going to cut those out. Uh, I think I got at least probably, I'm on step 15. I'm sorry, you guys. Like I told y'all, I'm trying to record as much as I can, but I'm learning as I go. My next video with a pattern will be better, but I'm on step six, 15. Um, I have it pinned down. I'm finna, um, excuse me, sew all this down and attached it to the dress and... I'm almost done. Yeah, I'll be almost done after a while. So, I'll be back. I, um, I'm um i stuck on number 16 and 17 with the bias tape. I sewn those two pieces together and pressed the seam. I'm stuck right here. But I'm going to keep reading and referring back to the pictures until I get the understanding of what they want me to do. Um, my seam ripper is out because I had to rip some um, stitches out that I thought I was doing right, but I was doing it wrong. So, I'm getting it. That's why I uh, haven't been able to bring you guys along. I keep forgetting because I'm still learning, trying to get the understanding of what I have to do each step. Some steps is easier than the other. And others are more complicated than the others. So, 
I'll be back once I finally get this together on what I have to do with the bias tape. I never worked with bias tape before. I don't really understand what the bias tape is used for, but I'm sure I will once I put it on the garment and use it. But now I'm just trying to understand what I have to do with this bias tape. So I'll be back, y'all. I'm back. Let me show y'all before. This is what I messed up. That's why I needed my seam ripper. I'm going to have to seam rip this one. The stitches out. But um, this is the right way now. So I'm going to go and stitch along this line. And then I'm going to go to step 17. So I have step 16 done. So what I had to do was I had to... I got a piece right here. This is how the bias tape came. Like this. And this is um, double folded bias tape, half inch. So, step 16 calls for me to open the bias tape on one side. See, when you look at it, it's folded in half like this. And it was called for me to open one half all the way open. Like so. And pin the raw edges like so. So I had to pin the raw edges together, the right sides touching. This is the right side touching the right side of the fabric. So now I'm gonna have to go and stitch along this line. And when I'm done doing this and fixing this one, I'll show y'all step 17. Okay, I'm finally done with the dress. I'm sewing the bottom hem. And the dress will be complete. Um, let me thread my needle right quick. I hope you all was able to learn something from this video. Um, I'm not showing myself because I look a mess right now. But I'm not even the focus of this video. I hope you all learned something from this video like I did. Um, I brought you all along with me. I had It wasn't a hard project. It was... Um, it was a learning experience. Um, I had to sit down, read, and understand the instructions. Something that I usually don't like to do is to follow the instructions. But you have to follow them to the T to get the outfit like you want it. I did, however, had to take the outfit up just a little bit in the shoulders. Because it was kind of big on my baby. And if, when she wear it, it's still kind of big. But it's a good size and a good length. So probably like a, a year or two from later. From now, sorry, she'll be able to fit it the way that, you know, she'll still be able to wear it. Not just for one month. She'll still be able to wear it for years to come. Um, yeah, I look forward to doing more of these type of videos. I look forward to buying more patterns. Um, however, I did save all the pieces to the patterns, of course, because that pattern was $18. So, yeah, most definitely. I saved it. Um. I thought I was going to be able to use it in multiple sizes because it did have different sizes. But once you cut out the size that you need, you cannot use it for another size unless it's a size smaller. And you can take it in and adjust it a little bit. But other than that, um, I'm, I kept the pattern. And um, I'm going to get other fabrics and um, make my daughter a couple more of these dresses. This dress is good for the summertime, I think. It's a lightweight um, fabric. I'm going to let her wear it soon. It's kind of cold here in Louisiana, but she could put some um, stockings or tights under it in a little shirt. But it's really a summer, cute little summer dress, in my opinion, because it's cold right now. So, peace and love, y'all. Thank y'all for watching, supporting me. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, comment. And ring the bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. Um, like I said, it's going to get better from here. Um, I'm new to this. 